Got a lot to cover, so I'm going to jump back in here. So true forgiveness is when the other person has done something we consider wrong and perhaps even harmful, and we forgive them anyway. This is, as I said, you know, I've said many times or several times at least, forgiveness is a radical way to live. It's radical compared to how we live, for how many of us live now. You know, this is a radical way to approach life. It's a radical way to approach other people. And we better be really secure in who we think we are and that we're able to take care of ourselves, that we know how to take care of ourselves before we jump in and try to forgive other people. Because otherwise, it's just gonna, we're just going to make it worse. You know, we're just going to exacerbate the situation. That's why I spent so much time in the book and in the last couple of weeks talking about boundaries, how to take care of ourselves. Because until we know how to do that, we shouldn't even try to forgive because it's only going to make it worse. All right. So um, and then the other thing uh, is to remember, this is a reminder. And actually, this was the assignment for tonight. I'm not angry because of what they did. I'm angry because I'm afraid. Remember, fear always precedes anger. And I'm afraid because of how I see myself. The situation is never the problem. The problem is always and only how I see myself in that situation. The feelings that I feel are based on the thoughts that I think, and in particular, and in particular, the thoughts that I think about myself. That determines my emotional reactions in each situation that I'm in. So I'm not afraid because I'm not angry because of what they did. I'm angry because I'm afraid and I'm afraid because of how I see myself. This is really important if we want to peacefully re resolve our differences with other people. All right, the next part. So we, we're, we're not going to have a lot of time to talk about this, but this is also very important when there's been a problem, when there's a dispute. The question of what was my part in this? is I think for me one of the most important questions we can ask. Now anybody who spent any time in 12-step programs they know that in step four we do a, a fearless and searching moral inventory and as far as I'm concerned the key question to ask and when we do that inventory where we go through each of the situations where we were challenged by other people we had conflicts um, you know where there was negative interactions this question, what was my part in this? It changes everything. It moves me from being a victim to being a responsible person, party who contributed to that situation. And when I began to look at this question, it was like, wow, you know, in every instance where I thought somebody else had victimized me or whatever, I had a part in that. Now, I'm not saying that they were not responsible for their part. And I'm not saying that they acted appropriately. In, in many instances, they acted inappropriately. But I had a part in how that played out. If nothing else, then I, put my, then I was responsible for putting myself in inappropriate situations with inappropriate people. And then blaming them for being inappropriate. It's subtle sometimes, sometimes it's not so subtle. But the point is, I had a part in all of those situations, not to beat myself up, not to make myself wrong, but to begin to look at myself differently. Because as long as I think I'm a victim and it's all their fault, then I don't have a chance to change how I, how I am in the future in, in similar situations with similar people. All right. And so these are some of the ways that I contributed to those situations. I ignored warning signs. Uh, you know, I, I talk about this in the book. Uh, this woman that I had a relationship with, you know, uh, that I had very strong feelings for, that I was, you know, thinking about maybe we were going to have a life together. On our very first date, she told me that she had left every relationship she had ever been in. And I thought, oh, well, it's going to be different now. It's going to be different this time. And I totally ignored that. So I ignored that warning sign and six months later, she left me for somebody else. We had unreasonable expectations. We failed to speak up for ourselves. Speaking up for myself is really difficult sometimes. I'm learning how to do that in an appropriate way. 
But when I fail to speak up for myself and I just expect them to know what's working for me or what's not working for me, what's good for me, what's not good for me, that's my part. That's how I contributed to that problem. Uh, I also found I was dishonest in, in different ways. Um, and most importantly, I didn't respect my own boundaries. I didn't have my, I didn't, I didn't even have boundaries. So there was nothing for me to respect, you know? I mean, that's how out to lunch I was in terms of my relationships with other people. All I knew is that I was a victim and it was their fault. So by looking at these questions and beginning to say, okay, I know that I contributed to this in some way. And again, I'm not making, we're not making excuses for somebody else's inappropriate behavior. We're not making excuses for somebody's harmful behavior. And I have a part in every situation in my life. And the more I embrace that, and that's, that's what chapter two is about. Chapter two in this book, chapter two in this book, taking responsibility. Why is that so important? Because when we take responsibility, that's how we get our power back. And without our power, we're powerless and people walk all over us but it's power over ourselves. And my boundaries are for me, not for other people. All right, so ask this question. You may not feel like it's, you know, it may take some time to really look at this and say, wow, well, you know, I really did have a part in that. I really did, you know, I didn't speak up for myself. I was expecting them to read my mind. All right, that's my part in the situation. Doesn't excuse their bad behavior. And it's a way I get my power back by taking responsibility for my part.